What's up guys, it's your boy Demon, aka Demotivational, and listen, today's topic of conversation, guys, I know you guys enjoyed the replacements, we're going to continue to do that, I haven't set the schedule, uh, you guys got a, I got a lot of requests for units, um, so I'm going to go through that, and we're going to get that series rolling to help you guys find sufficient units now. Uh, today's topic of conversation, listen, um, as we've been doing these account optimizations, you know, I've been talking about rune optimization, how to optimize runes, but I haven't really talked about how to really optimize your team. So I'm going to give you guys a simple formula today that you guys can check to figure out why your team is failing. Um, if it is, so you can adjust those and make sure that your team can find success. Um, as we're ironing this out, leveling our units up, improving our runes, my giant GB10 run is up to 80% now, uh, which is really, really good. Um, so we're just hammering it out, trying to get it faster and faster and faster. We're fastest time now down to 249 or 243, something like that. Um, just plugging away. My goal is to get to speed GB10 here in the, within the next couple of weeks. Now, um, with that being said, how do you diagnose your units when your teams are failing? Okay, simple steps. First thing you guys are going to check are your skills, okay? Um, specifically on your core units, whether that's Megan, Bella, Bernard, whether that's Mega, 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 whether that's Emma, whether that's Chasun, wh whoever it is that you guys are using um, in your primary slots, it doesn't matter. What you guys are going to check are their skills. That's the first thing you guys are going to check. So if your Bernard has a level 1 Tailwind, that's probably why you're failing. If his Body Slam is level 2, that's probably could be one of the reasons why you're failing. If your Mobilize on your Bella is only level 1, it could be an issue while you're failing. If your Shannon is not buffed at all, if you haven't been scaling up your Shannon for your buffs for consistency, same thing with Megan, that could be another reason why you're failing. It's the first thing you're going to check. After you check that and you've dialed in that your skills are done, the next thing you guys are going to look at is their info. Is their HP high enough? Do they have at least 15,000 HP? So I look at the Shannon, no. Uh, do I have at least 800 defense? Almost. I'm getting there. Is my accuracy at least 45% for giants, 55% for dragons? Almost. Okay. So I'm getting there, right? So that's something that you can self-diagnose so you guys can look at what's going on. Okay. What's my Bernie going on? Can my Bernie be faster? Yes. Is my Bernie over 220 Hi. speed? No. Is my Bernie at 15k HP? No. Is my Bernie at 300 de at 800 defense? Yes. Okay. Is the accuracy at least 45 to 55%? Yes. And here, in this case, my accuracy is a little high. Uh, I've been moving stuff around to try to get... Um, so I could probably get rid of this rune here pretty soon and replace it with a regular accuracy rune. Uh, not a regular accuracy rune, but a regular rune with accuracy subs and make up the difference and bring that down about 20% and increase his stats. Can I do that? Yes. Am I looking at my units again? Okay. Is my Bella at 15k? No. Is she at 800 defense? Yes. Does she have accuracy? Yes. You see what I'm saying? So that's the thing. Now, after you check that, now the big, uh, another big thing you guys can check is what is your turn order? Is your Bernard going first, followed by your defense breaker, and then the rest of your damage? No. Is your Bernard going first, you know, followed by Shannon, and then your defense breaker, right? You know, things like that. So optimizing which of your units are going first, and then... Is your damage going in the position that it's supposed to? Ideally speaking, you want your buffer and your speed buff to usually go first, followed by your defense break, right? So it's there. And then everything else, your damage, my two units here, will go after that, okay? Now, do you have all that in place? Now, if the answer is yes, you got that on place, the big thing now you're going to check is your runes. A lot of you guys, you know, you fall victim to plus nine syndrome, and I'm happy because I just switched Bella's runes around. Um, so you guys can see here, I got a plus 10, plus nine, plus nine plus nine, right? So if you're if you're suffering from plus nine syndrome, is what I like to call it, you're basically missing out on roughly about 30% of your potential stats just by getting it to plus 12, okay? So like from, you know, the speed here, I can get a little bit more speed. From, from this, I can get to 37% um, if I plus this to 12. Does that make sense? And then I'm missing a whole nother stat down here that I could actually roll. You know, same thing with this rune down here. Same thing with this rune up here. Um, so if you're suffering from plus nine, plus six syndrome, plus three syndrome, whatever, um, then you need to definitely look at your runes and get your runes plus up. And that is basically how you self-diagnose. So like when you're looking at your units, they should your runes should start to look like these, like all orange, right? And if they're really good runes, then you can afford to definitely get them to plus 15. So like to show an example of a rune that I would actually plus 15 is this rune here. I got speed plus 10, crit damage plus 10, attack percent, and crit rate. This rune would go to plus 15, and I would capitalize on this rune. Does that make sense? Um, so that's how you determine, you know, which runes you're going to plus. And, you know, I talked about that in diagnosing your runes. But the big thing here is when you're looking at your team, like why is your team failing? 
those are the things that you have to check. So again, from the top, first thing you'll look at, skill ups. Are your skill ups where they need to be? Um, specifically on your support units. Is your mobilize maxed? Is your tailwind maxed? Is your body slam maxed? If not, go get them shits done, okay? Um, then after you have that done, then you're gonna look at, okay, now you're gonna look at your info. Are my stats where they need to be? If not, okay, cool, my stats aren't where they need to be. Okay, let's look at my runes now. Oh, damn, I got plus nine syndrome. It's time to plus my runes so I can get that stat threshold. Okay, now you're like, okay, cool. Well, I have the stat threshold, but my team's still failing. Okay, is my Bernard and my buffer going first, followed by my defense breaker, followed by this, or is my Bernard going first and my defense breaker buffer? However you guys do it. But, um, you know, is the, the, the attack order of my team successful? And you determine that by the speed of your units, by the way. And then do my damage dealers go after that? And then are my damage dealers dealing as much damage as they possibly can? The answer is yes, then you continue to move forward. And if all of that is still failing, then it could just be a grade issue, meaning you're still five star and you need to make them six stars, you know, et cetera, which, which that'll take time. So in this video, guys, I just wanted to really take some time and really break that process down. So every time you guys get stuck in a run, you guys do that process. I promise you, if you guys focus on it and you guys make that a part of your like Summoner's War religion <laughs> or your Summoner's War routine, um, it will help catapult you from progression level to progression level because you're paying attention to the things that matter most. So with that being said, guys, love you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Um, I will see you guys live on stream tonight on Twitch. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the box below, and I'd be happy to assist. And with that being said, guys, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.